And we're back for another episode. In this episode, we're going to be continuing with Final Fantasy Type-0. So, I guess we're on Chapter 2 now, so let's go. Raise the Vermilion Banner. So, Chapter 2, Raise the Vermilion Banner. So, let's see what's going on. Fearing an attack with a second Ultima Bomb, the Kingdom of Concordia, home to the Azure Peristilium, began defending the airspace over its territory and that of the Dominion of Rubro. Concerned the war might spread to other nations, Concordia sought an immediate cessation of hostilities, but was rejected outright by the Dominion of Rubro. With large portions of land occupied by the Empire, the Dominion was reluctant to accept a ceasefire, as that would be a silent concession to the Empire's act of aggression. Sorry if any background sounds are being the picked up. The Consortium of Eight, Rubrum's Supreme Ruling Council, spent several days debating how to recover their lost territory. With our force's current state, do you really believe we can defeat the Empire in a full-scale conflict? We'll have to abandon our outer territories and focus on defending the capital and retaking key strategic areas. We can make up for our disadvantage in numbers with the sea. The Empire already unleashed the sea on us during this invasion. We're lucky that it wasn't a Primus. If they want to throw dirt at us, I say we just throw it right back at them. My, you quite the sense of humor. Do you really think a Lassie would accede to the wishes of the Consortium? Why not? The Vermilion Bird Crystal was attacked by an enemy Lassie. It was put in danger. There's no way that it's Lassie could refuse to aid us in this situation. And if the Lassie operated by that logic, you might actually have a point. Only the Vermilion Bird Crystal has the power to direct the Lassie to help us. And the wills or wants surrounding that do not a productive discussion make. Might I offer a suggestion? I understand the cadets who were involved in the liberation of the capital were unaffected by the jammer and managed to repel the White Tiger Lassie. Can we create more soldiers with the same magic technology used to create them? Sorry I'm late. You can't simply repeat what I've done with the children. And the tech itself is classified. Disclosure is out of the question. <sighs> Dr. Aratia, have you learned anything about the Crystal Jammer? Very little, I'm afraid. I can say with certainty, though, that no human could operate the Jammer. It would take a lessee. However, my scanners haven't detected any major disruptions since Lorica's little disappearing act. Based on the data, I believe that something has happened to the lessee, and the jammer is inoperable. Even if that's true, do you have an actual plan to get us out of this current mess? Just deploy the cadets. Huh? Hmm? I believe that is the best way to turn the tide of battle without compromising our defenses. D Undeniably, the Akito cadets would make for a potent implement of war, but... Would it not be seen as an expansion of the role of those defending the Peristilium? Oh. 
If the sea won't help us, what choice do we have? Very well. Shall we defer to the Chancellor's judgment? The Dominion's very existence is imperiled. Each of us will be put to trial. Even the Agito Cadets. And if Rubrum is at stake, they would welcome those challenges. Very well, then. Shall we make it official? Okay, Foundation Courtyard. Right, so what are we doing here? So wow, I didn't believe the rumours about crimson clad cadets thrashing the white tiger the sea, but here you are, class zero in the flesh. I'm Aki from class first, it's an honour. Why don't I show you around? This is Academia, home of the Valerium Peristilium. Your homeroom should be just through the entrance and down the hall to the left. You haven't met with your CEO yet, have you? You won't be officially registered as a cadet until you do, so I would head there first. So follow the mark on the map to reach the next destination. Okay, so our privileges come with plenty of responsibilities too, but we cadets are all here to look out for each other, so don't be a stranger. Okay, that makes sense. So well, let's... Um, hello? <laughs> What am I missing here? Oh, that's a map there, really? Hmm. But we need to go somewhere. I'm not flipping clue where we need to go. Okay. So you actually have to press on the door. You can't just run through it. Entrance. So the graphics are pretty good, to be honest. I mean, they've obviously done a really good job of upscaling this. It looks how, like, when you play old games on an emulator, and then you just increase the resolution 20 times. Not that I've ever played an emulator, uh, but what? Okay, so, where are we going? Last rooms, 7th and 8th. Goodbye. Where are you going? Classroom 0 is that way. Okay. Is what way? <laughs> what button do I flip and press? It's obviously not this way, is it? Goodbye. Oh. There's obviously something I'm missing here, because I see that button on the right, and I can't do anything with it. So, there you are, Ace. I've been waiting for you, darling. Before you officially register as a cadet, there's something your mother would like you to know. I have to warn you that the two new cadets will be joining you dears in Class Zero. They may don the same crimson cape, but don't be fooled, they are nothing like you. You've been doing an excellent job collecting Phantoma. Those two new kids will be assisting in the harvest, but they don't know what Phantoma is, and I would prefer if they remained unaware. Other than U12, only a handful of elite researchers are privy to the information about Phantoma. You dears receive certain privileges because you're special, but those two new ones are not. Our research is strictly confidential, and I would hate for any secrets to get out. So, do your poor mother a favor and keep this information to yourself. You'll do that for me, won't you, darling? 
Okay. Uh, hmm. Organized members, change equipment. Uh huh. Everyone is between level 8 and 10 at the moment. Promotion abilities. Okay. Interesting. So it's interesting that his, you know, Ace's active weapon is playing cards. You don't have used by items. Okay. Difficulty. Yep, Cadet. That's fine. Save. Oh, we'll come back to that. So, I need to work out how to flip and access this direction. <laughs> Whatever. But anyway, here's Classroom Zero. Let's cut through the formalities. I am now your commanding officer, Kurosame. Commanding officer? Yes. As of this moment, you are under my command. The authorization came directly from Arch Sorceress Oratia Alratia. From Mother? Hey. Take a hike, yo. We only take orders from Mother. Got it? You're not wanted here, yo. <laughs> Bit excessive. Ow, oh, you son of a bitch, that hurt. Why you? That's enough. Ooh, this guy is pretty tough. Not for long. He said it was Mother's decision. Are you saying you won't follow Mother's orders? Satisfied? Good. Henceforth, you will execute Dominion missions under my command. When you have no assignment, you will live here, at Academia, with the other cadets. On campus? Yes. We never had to do that before. Why start now? Does that come from Mother, too? Yes. Those are Dr. Horatia's orders. Hmm. Also, Cadet Machina, Cadet Rem, enter. Two new cadets have been assigned to Class Zero, starting today. Machina Kunigiri. Hello. Rem Tokimia. Nice to meet you. Let me guess. Chaperones? Your time is yours until you receive further orders. I have high hopes for you. May the crystal guide you. Okay. Good to see you again. Thanks for the assist the other day. Yeah. Thanks so much for helping us out. Seriously, though, I can't believe Class Zero is real. Why... My friends and I were sure yourselves were just one of Academia's urban legends now we were. And you're so powerful. Just three of you took down a Lassie. Oh, which reminds me. Why were you able to use your weapons in... Okay. Next. Starting today, I'll be relaying mission information and instructions from the Dominion. I am the Military Operation, Organization, and Guidance Logistics Expert. Mughal for short, Kubel. Some prefer to call me the Military Operation Guide, or Mog, Kubel. You can call me whatever you want. I hope to be of service, Kubel. Whatever I want? How about... Moglin! 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 Lin! N no Kubo! No Lin, Kubo! B -b besides I do have a proper name, Kubo. Hmm? What is it? Hatskamine Lotayosna Eriborchi, Kubo? Hmm... That's 
too hard. Moglin's good enough. G -g -g good enough? Kobo. So, to get to the cemetery, head out of the door over there and through the rear garden. Okay, chill out, calm down. Uh, many brave men and women gave their lives for us in the liberation. You should offer them a prayer of thanks. After all, you can't start thinking about the future until you pay homage to the past. Okay. There must be something I'm missing, guys. Uh, let's see. Controls. Subcommands. Oh, is that what I press? Maybe I have to press the... Okay, this person is for info. Time to mission, six hours. we've met before <laughs> my name is deuce king are you what aria so your name is aria <laughs> Wow, we learnt a lot from her. Jeez. I'm gonna cure cancer in any minute. So anyway. So I know you're itching to explore academia, but if it weren't for those brave men and women who gave their lives of liberation, there wouldn't be any academia left to explore. Head over to the cemetery and offer those men and women a prayer of thanks. Okay. I thought that's where I was going, but apparently not. Okay, so where do I go? Aha, uh -huh, here's a back garden. Fair enough. I'm still trying to get used to this game, guys. It's very, very odd. It is like a handheld game on a PC, so it's like what is weird. This place? It's called a cemetery. What's a cemetery? Here we carve the names of the fallen, so their legacies may live on. Because we are unable to retain memories of those who die before us. But I heard that the crystal removes our memories to help us. So that the living will be tied down to the dead. That's why we leave our knowing tags behind before we go to battle. As proof that we live. If no one comes to pick up a tag, it means that person died. Then that name is engraved here. As the name of someone who died for the vermilion bird. I always make sure to write down the names of everyone that I meet or go out on a mission with. Then after a mission, I check to see if there are any names I don't recognize. If there are names there that I don't remember, then I come here and look for the people I once knew. But I still can't remember them. Hmm. Okay, so Rem and Machina, yeah, they just passed through here. They're probably visiting someone's grave at the cemetery. I wonder whose. So, some events at Academia can only be triggered by certain characters. Change active members at Relic Terminals. Okay. So I need to... Does that mean I need to go back to change? Let's see... I said, guys, I'm still trying to get used to this stuff. So have you finished offering your prayers? Then let's learn how things work here in Academia. On mission day, Central Command will issue sortie orders and you'll be on your way. Until then, though, you can use your free time to talk to whoever and go wherever you please. So you have 12 hours of free time in one day. Pay attention to characters with the following icons. 
The bird necessary for proceeding further in the game. Exclamation mark. Initiates that event, but uses two hours of free time. Question mark. Offers tutorials and hints for proceeding further in the game. Info provides particular service like selling items. Okay. So, yeah, the exclamation marks will use two hours of free time. Fair enough. So, when your mission days arrive, your CEO will call you in. Then he'll explain your orders and you'll march off to battle. When you're just itching to start your mission, go to go find Tachi Nami in Central Command. I'm sure he'll be more than happy to help, so talk to him, and he'll get you ready to march right away. You can also just confirm your next sortie's order, that way you'll know the difficulty level of your next mission. If you don't think you're strong enough yet, then keep training hard until mission day. You won't learn anything in academia if you don't know your way around. Now that you're officially registered as a cadet, you're free to use the great portal and the entrance. So go on and have a look around. I have a special present for you once you've explored all of academia. And don't be shy about chatting with other cadets. If I've got another gift for you once you see a lot of explanation mark events. I just know you'll love it here at academia. Okay. Nice. Fair enough, fair enough. So let's see. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, there's kind of a lot of cutscenes at the moment, that's What's for sure. This? It's a relic terminal, Kubao. A what? Relic. An artifact shrouded in mystery, said to be born of the Vermilion Bird Crystal. I've heard it has the power to manipulate time and space. That's according to some legends, Kupau. In the Dominion, we sync them with magic and use them for data input and communication, Kupau. You can save your data. And such, Kupau. If I'm not mistaken, cadets can do all of that with the naturally occurring relics all over the world. That's right, Kubao. If you find one, you should check it out, Kubao. Kubao. Okay. Well, anyway, so let's save because that was just whatever. Right. So, what they said we can do, we can see reserves. So, these are all the active people. So let's see. Was it Rem they said has to be the. Oh, whatever. I really don't care. So let's, uh, let's just proceed on. We'll work out about ordering people later on when it's needed. So, oh, you've already met with your CO. I guess that means you're officially one of us now. In that case, why don't I show you around a little? That great portal in the center connects to all sorts of places. The lounge, the ready room, the terrace, the chocobo ranch, the armory, the sorcery. Um, oh, that reminds me. The doctor told me to let you know she's waiting for you in her office. Be sure to warp over there later, okay? That door leads you... Leads through to Dominion Central Command. The officers will provide you with all you need to know about upcoming operations. Over here you have the Christrium. Crystarium. Its walls are particularly bursting with information. The jewel in the Crystarium's crown is the Rubicus, located right near the entrance. It's an incredible anthology of records, dossiers, and all sorts of advice. If you ever find yourself at a loss, at first try consulting the Rubicus. Okay, so let's go see this doctor that they were saying about. Activate Great Portal, yes. So where do we go? Ready Room. Terrace. Chocobo Ranch, interesting. So shall we go to the... Where do we go then? To see the Doctor. Ready Room, maybe? Nope, the Ready Room just seems to be some sort of bar. Ok, 
Okay. So we can talk to people if we want, but do I really want to? Well, I can talk to this guy, I guess. Oh, ho hello there, Kupo. I am the Moogle in charge of Class 12. In a word, they're special. Okay. Yeah, I don't really want to spend the time talking to a million people. I don't have the time right now, so let's go back to the entrance and let's find this doctor. Okay, so it wasn't the ready room. Let's try... Armory. Okay, so I said we can talk to people with info and it won't occupy our time. So welcome today, I'm here to offer you only the finest weapon and accessories around. I'm telling you, you won't believe some of these deals, seriously, they're unbelievable. Okay. Uh -huh. well, given that I'm kind of short on Gil at the moment, I don't really want to do things, but yeah, we got, that's interesting. So increases HP by 20%. That's quite a big increase. But I'll worry about doing any sort of upgrades when I have a lot more money. Okay. Aha, uh -huh, here's a question mark. So, at East Cadet, this is the Six Arms Lab, otherwise known as the Armory. We pride ourselves on being ex the exclusive developer and distributor of arms in the Dominion. You sh should you ever find yourself in need of equipment, don't hesitate to ask. Okay. That's that place. Let's go to the next one. Right, so shall we go to the sorcery? Or sorcery, whatever you want to call it. Okay, let's talk. So, welcome to Sorcery, where we conduct research and development of all kinds of spells. Technically, this place is off-limits to all unauthorized personnel, but the Doctor has given you kids special permission. Okay, info. So, I've been charged with overseeing the top secret special orders. So, for short, the Doctor designed this program with you kids in mind, but I need your consent before you can participate. The price of failure on these confidential orders is death, so bear that in mind. That said, the Doctor feels this sort of challenge will contribute to your growth as cadets. Accepting these secret missions is a risky undertaking, so the choice is yours. So, review incoming special orders transmitted with left. After confirming their contents, you may choose to decline with no penalty. However, if an SO is accepted, the penalty for failure is death. Avoid death by dodging three of the portals that appear. Earn rewards by completing these special tasks. SOs with red icons provide exceptional rewards. Uh huh. So receive beneficial status effects by accepting SOs. Com completion earns rewards, but the price is death. Or failure is death. Avoid death by dodging blah blah blah. So allow. Yeah, let's allow them. That's the spirit. I knew Class Zero would be up for the challenge. The Doctor and I expect great progress from you. Good luck. Okay. You look well. There's a doctor. So, have you adjusted to your new life in academia, darling? As it were, I was hoping to have a little chat with you. Keep talking? Yes. I'm sure you've been wondering why the twelve of you were unaffected by the Crystal Jammer. After all, the rest of the Dominion was completely helpless in the face of the device. You see, the Empire's Jammer suppressed the Vermilion Bird Crystal, the source of Rum Rubrum's magic. So by cutting off access to their lone lifeline, the legions were left utterly powerless. You children, however, are special. You derive your power from a different source. From where, you ask? Why, from your dear mother's love, of course. In any case, you darlings have absolutely nothing to worry about as long as I'm here. Do your best and remember that I'm always watching over you. Okay. It's like Harry Potter all over again. So... You're starting to fit right in here at Academia. Take this little gift. Okay, another elixir. So we have four hours left into the mission, so let's just keep exploring, I guess. Okay. 
Okay, so activate portals, yes. We've done those, so let's go to the lounge. I don't know if we went to the lounge before, I can't remember. <laughs> lounge. So we're, we're trying to understand the environment of this game. That's going to be the point, I guess, of this episode. Might not be any fighting. A random... Moogle to talk to. You wouldn't happen to be from Class Zero, would you? You would? Oh dear me, how terribly rude of me to not introduce myself sooner. Righty-ho. Is there anything special around here? Doesn't seem to be. For four hours until the mission. Oops. So let's finish exploring. Maybe we can do the mission or something. So here, Terrace. So I guess they're going for the Final Fantasy VIII kind of, we're in school now, let's enjoy it sort of thing, let's enjoy the, the calm before the storm. Ah, uh, look. Low pixel view. Ah, uh, how cute. Handheld games. Anyway, so let's uh, talk to this guy. Seems like I'm always running into you guys. Hmm? We're in the same class at the same academy. Of course we see a lot of each other. Yeah, I know, but... Actually, I had no idea that Rem was even in the Dominion. If only I had known you were here, Machina. I would have tried to get in touch with you. I would have. I can't believe we kept missing each other for two months. You two actually knew each other before coming here? Rem and I? We're from the same village. We saw each other at a drill. I hadn't seen him for seven years. I knew it was you. You haven't changed. Look at you. I was surprised by how tall you'd gotten, Machina. When we were back in the village, you were shorter than I was. <sighs> yeah, like I said, you haven't changed. Okay. I got a high potion. I think the last place to go is to the Chocobo Ranch. Uh, yep. We've been everywhere else, so Chocobo Ranch is the last one. Oh. Uh, I swear they better not harm any more Chocobos in this game. So, hi dear. I don't reckon I've seen you around these parts before. Welcome to Rubrum's one and only Chocobo Ranch, where Chocobos rule the roast, or the roost. They transport soldiers, sprint across battlefield, and even provide vital or vitals in a pinch. Why, I'd say they're heaps more useful than some of those clumsy cadets. Well, since you done come all the way out here, I might as well give you this. I reckon it will serve you plenty well there in the field. Okay, so obtain 10 chocobos, male, 10 chocobos, female, and you'll get a hankering for raising a chocobo or two of your own. I'd say this will come in handy too. Okay, so we have some Geisel Greens. Nice, nice, nice. Anything else around here that I should look at? Uh, info. So you can only test ride your chocobos around the coral. Let me know when you're ready to dismount. So take a chocobo for a test ride? Yeah, why not? Yep. Yay, we're riding chocobo. Yay, yay, we, yay, I'm so excited. We're... Anyway, let's, uh, let's dismount. Sorry guys, I'm not a four-year-old kid anymore. Riding chocobos in bad graphics it can only get me so far. Anyway, let's head back to the central. To the entrance. Okay, so... Where was that save point again? It was to the left, wasn't it?
Okay, let's save. Save. Save, yes. Okay, so we finished exploring. So anyway, guys, I think that's a good time to end this episode. Thank you for watching. It was very much a explore and find out a bit more about what's going on type of episode. And thank you for watching. And as always, goodbye from me and goodbye from Ace.